Welcome Aries Taurus to your mid-month reading for December. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in the mid-month. Getting ready for the holiday season over here. Okay, got all my Christmas shopping done yesterday. So that's a good thing. <laughs> got that done out of the way. And then, of course, Pisces season is coming again, right? Still in Pisces season, but won't really do them all until a couple of days before Christmas. Done a few here and there after Thanksgiving, but nothing like those Christmas pies. Okay, friends. your energy, what you're thinking, and the energy surrounding you. There we go. <clears throat> ten of swords. Why well, you got ten of swords over there, my friends? I just hear surrender, surrender, start pulling them out. Okay, clarifying on the ten of swords. This card's not only going to clarify it on the Ten of Swords, but the entire reading. There it is. Heartache and loss. Ouch. Ouchy. Ouch. Okay. So, feeling that heartache and loss. I am hearing that... I don't know who it is, but they don't like the holiday season because they have lost someone and it reminds them of that person. Um, and this might be the first holiday season without that person. Um, so pulling out those swords is not going to be as easy. Okay. Um, and yes, I'm hearing that. So, getting straight into the situation, the situation is going to take place in the present, the near past, and the near future. But the patience, you're like losing your patience right now. Somebody might be making you lose your patience. You need to go into your shadow side to help you with the heartache and the loss. Um, in the recent past, you have the accelerated motion upside down. And in, ooh, in your future, though, you have fulfillment of wishes and the victory and success just flying itself out there. So there is going to be a change. Um, and maybe it's just because I am picking up this, this, I don't know if it's just a person. It feels like this energy of I'm not used to having the holiday season, especially this season. Something about Christmas, something about this holiday without this person. Uh, maybe this was this person's favorite holiday, I'm hearing. Um... And it's hard because I'm used to doing this, we're used to doing that, and they're not here. Um, but it does feel like once it's all over, you won't feel as much pain, right? Because the whole, you'll be taking down the tree, things of this nature. Um, so it's more of a holiday kind of depression because this person is not there. That's, like I said, that's for somebody, but we'll see what's going on. And for others of you, I also feel like there's heartache and loss because you want someone with you during the holidays. They can't be with you. <clears throat> so no matter how it is, it's still kind of the same, right? It's kind of the same energy, just a little bit different. Take it how it resonates, okay, my friends? But there is this very solemn feeling um, within this reading accelerated motion is not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm not happy. In the past, you were not happy, and I believe this was around Thanksgiving. Um, I don't feel like it's very long ago. I feel like it's it's the same energy. Like, either they're not there for Thanksgiving, they're not here for Christmas. I just want all these holidays out of here. I just, I don't want this. I don't want this. Um, for others of you, it also feels like if I can't celebrate Christmas the, with all my family because of this situation that we're in, um, the lockdowns and all this stuff, this is depressing. I want to be with my family, um, and they're not letting me, right? <clears throat> or I can't. 
Um, and I'm even feeling like there might even be someone sick that you want to be around um, and you cannot be there because they're sick. Causing depression, major depression. You were depressed then and I feel the depression rolling over, rolling over straight over here. This three over here is the same as the three of swords. So going straight from the five of cups straight to the three of swords. There could be two of cups behind you, though, so you do have to be careful of that. Be appreciative of what you do have. It does feel like there could be a couple other people around you um, that you need to um, think about, even from, you know, even from the past. Um, and I do believe that these two cups is not just from the past, but they're actually here, too. So if you guys have children um, and you know that this person can't be here, I'm just, I'm just hearing Spirit say, you know, you have two cups behind you. Try to maintain what you need through the happiness with this other two of cups, right? Because in seriousness, maybe you had you had two of cups here, but this person in red is missing, right? So it's very sad. Um, just try to maintain your happiness for the other two, other one, other two, however many there is, right? You're losing your patience over here. You're feeling very impatient. I think the impatience, though, I'm feeling this anxiety off that card. It's not just losing your patience. It's like you are impatient because you just want it over with. I want it done. And it's causing anxiety. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it could be in a, it's a love relationship or someone that was very, very close to you. It could be a mom, a dad, um, a loved one. Yeah, it could have been your, your husband, your wife, somebody who is not here. Um, and you you want out of this. Um, the Hierophant is here because you have to remember, just keep the faith. Try to keep your patience. Remember the two of cups behind you. Yeah, because of the disappointments in there of a relationship. And it could even be that you broke up around this time um, and you want them here. Maybe they left you, ghosted you, and you really want them here. Um, and it wasn't within a relationship. Maybe you just got out of divorce. So many different things going on. I'm just going to stay to the main story, though, for now. Um, I take it how it resonates, though, guys, okay? Because there's a lot of different energies coming in. But however it is, it's just keep the faith. Try not to keep yourself in Eight of Swords. Um, and because there's so many disappointments and so many doubts and so many... Uh, just grief. I'm just going to say grief. I just see so much grief all over the place. Yeah. Communication breakdown. Um, if this person is still, I mean, is alive. <clears throat> I do feel for others of you, there's someone who has deceased. Um, and that's why they can't be here. But for the others of you, um, the communication between you and this person has giving you nothing but disappointments. Um, they are not going to be here. Relationship is n no longer satisfactory. Um, and this gives you a lot of pain because they're not going to be there with you. For others of you, it feels like you have stopped talking. Seriously, just stop talking. Okay, you've put yourself in kind of a hermit mode. You've cut communication. Yeah, cold shouldering the world. You could be cold shouldering this other person because they give you too much grief. You know they're not going to be here. You know the relationship is over. My God, there's so many different reasons why. I, I just can't get through all of them, you guys, because we'll be here 900 hours. I just heard another one, too. <laughs> um, However, it is communication breakdown or you're keeping yourself hiding out um, from the world, however it is. You're going to go into shadow mode, which is probably a good thing if you're you're kind of like in a hermit. But this is kind of like more like the cold shouldering, shutting the world out. And you need to get into shadow side. If you're going to shut the world out, this is more like a depression again, depression. At least try to get into shadow side when you're in this depression so that you can try to work things out between you and yourself. Okay. 
having the realizations of what's going on, having the realizations that if I did lose someone, and I'm so sorry if you if you did, and I know that somebody did, um, you have to understand that that's the way the world works, right? It's it's crappy. It is. I've lost half my family. Okay, within the last six years. Okay. Um, and those of you who were here in, in June know I lost my grandmother. Uh, you know, three years before that, I lost, two years before that, I lost my other grandma. Three years before that, I lost my dad, right? It's just an ongoing, stopping thing. And you have to keep trying to tell yourself, this is the way life is. We're born. And then, you know, we go to the other side. You're going to have to get down within yourself and have the understanding and the realizations that you can't keep yourself in this mode. You have to have the understanding and the realizations that they wouldn't want you to stay in this mode. So digging deep within yourself for better understanding. And it's hard. You know, I just went through this. Okay. Again. And it just feels like it's again and again and again. Um, and yeah, and it might not even be a loved one. It could be your best friend. You know, I lost my best friend too. You know, I've lost, like I said, I've lost so many people. And I know. But you're going to have to do this. I had to do it. You're going to have to do it. Because it's the only thing that's going to help you get out of that is by having the realization that this is where you are in the dark side and you need to get over here and have that realization. They're okay. In fact, you have to have the understanding they're more worried about you than you should be worried about them. Because they're fine. It's you who's left on this planet to struggle. They're no longer in struggle. They're whole. They're at peace. They're fine. It's you. It's you, right? And it's that connectability that you have, you guys, that, um, and that knowing that they're not there for you. Um, when you go to call, and I do it all the time, I almost called my grandma. <laughs> This was like only, only like four weeks ago. I was so excited. I got like 4,000 subscribers and I was like, grandma. And then I was like, I have, I can't call her to tell her that she'd be so happy. She'd be so happy though. Right. Oh my God. You're doing such a good job. I'm so proud of you. So I just told myself that that's what she would say. It's that connectability that you need. And you're going to find that it's okay. And you're going to bring your emotions back up. And you're going to dig deep within your yourself and using your intuition to say, you know, it's going to be okay. It's a very rough reading, you guys. Um, but it's something that you have to hear. It's something that I had to hear um, when I was laying in, bre in bed when my father died and I was so depressed. Um... Yeah, you guys are going to make me cry, but, you know, they, my dad had cancer and he wasn't even diagnosed. He didn't feel good for a long time, you guys. And we found out four months before he died that he was already in stage four. There was no help for him. He had let it go so long, there was no help. So I only had four months with my dad and yeah, he died within four months. Okay, because he could not get chemo. It was he was beyond chemo. There was nothing we could do. So when he died, it was a sheer shock factor, right? You have to stop fighting the emotions. You have to let them go. You have to get out of it. You have to let them go and stop fighting. The fighting is the fighting to not come back up out of the water. <laughs> Standing your ground, keeping yourself where you are. You have to remember you have two cups behind you. You still have people who love you. You still have people who need you. There are still people here. And you know, that's what spirit wants you to know too. I want you to guys know right here. And I never told anybody this, but this is my spirit guide. And spirit wants you to know. 
You are here to live for the others, okay? Don't hold on to those who've already lived. You hold on to their memories, you hold on to their love, but you have to continue and remember that there's other people that need you and you need them and they love you. And the other side already loves you, but they're already at peace and they're already doing what they're supposed to be doing. They've lived, they're done. Now you must live, you must live, right? And do what you need to do. And for those of you who have children, your children need you not to be like this, okay? They need you at Christmas, they need you to be happy, they need you around. And what you do is, you know, you, you put up that Christmas tree that your, your loved one loved so much and you know, it was he might Christmas for me. It was my dad's favorite holiday, right? How did I put up a tree? I put it up, and I said, you know, my dad, this is for you. Do things like that; it will make you feel better. Instead of saying, I don't want to do that because that that reminds me of him. No, do it because it reminds you of him. Do it in his his honor, her honor. Fulfillment of wishes in the near future, moving on, because I'm going to cry, so, you know, I don't want to make this so sad that we're all going to be crying, um, but with a page of wands, you're going to move, you're going to find your sacred traveler within yourself, you're, that is your soul, that is your spirit guide, is going to bring you into the fulfillment of wishes, you're going to think about what you're doing, you're going to think about the things that, that my spirit guide has just told you. And you're going to move beautiful into the Christmas area. And this is Christmas. Why? Because you're going to do it for yourself, you guys, okay? You're going to hold tight to the memories. And you're going to hold tight to all the things that, whether they're deceased or not, it doesn't matter. You're still going to hold tight to what you know you should do. Because there's other people around you, right? And even if they're not deceased and they just left, you still have friends and family who love you, who want you to be whole with them, to celebrate and be happy. And for some of them that are sick and you can't be with them and it makes you very sad, it's okay, they're in recovery, okay? There's a message of recovery coming and it'll make you feel so much happier, okay? It's like, I can't be with them because they're sick. Well, there is a recovery coming. For others of you, this is going to bring you to recovery. This is going to bring you out of the heartache and the loss. So you have it here, you have it here, and in the end, we're gonna make it go upside down. We're gonna try our hardest, right? I'm gonna try my hardest to bring you out of that. I'm gonna try my hardest to do what I need to do. That's my job, to try to help you as much as possible. trying to fulfill your wishes, and there's that fulfillment of wishes again, bringing back the healing waters. The Ace of Cups over here, to me, all I see is healing waters. That's all I see. I don't see fulfillment of wishes as you getting new love. I don't see fulfillment of wishes as you getting the new job. I see it as the healing waters of the peace of the dove, bringing you back to peace, bringing you back to where you need to be for the victory and success within yourself. And then your family will see you as well. And so you're doing a very good job. Ten of Pentacles, bringing you back the satisfaction that you need. And having the understanding with the High Priestess, digging deep within your own intuition and digging deep within yourself. Having that higher knowledge and understanding of what was going on. And this will bring about the perfect timing for you to have a new chance, for you to, to have the leap of faith so that you can walk within the sunshine and walk. Just knowing, right, that you have now the peace. And yes, there will be more healing needed. But you're going to reach those levels because you're going to, you know, you're going to try, right? You're going to try. Because, you know, it won't last forever, you guys. And will you ever not be sad that this person here? 
hell if I'd know. No. But, but, at least, at least you don't have to be like this anymore. Right? Where you, you'll always remember, and you'll always be sad, and you'll always, you know, hold that pain, of course. That's what we do. We're human. But at least you won't be depressed. Okay? And that was a reading. Oh, you know what? I want to do what your soul wants you to know. Man, this was a rough one for me, you guys. Because I trying to make the best message. This is a tough one. Because you're getting into people's you're getting into people's hearts and souls, you know? My own. <laughs> you know, and my own. There is an essence. In my essence, I am joy. Just remember that. And I would like another one too, please. And you know what? I might even use a healing card. Um, I know this video is kind of long, but I want to give as much as I can. Remember, I am Radiance, Reflections of God Light. I'm going to get a healing card, though. <clears throat> Maybe uh, we will reflect on this. I will write a message to myself. Um for spiritual healing. I think this one, you guys, would be really good for spiritual healing session. I know this is probably not going to resonate with tons of people, but for those of you who are here who need this message, that's all that matters to me, is that I'm helping those who need it. I don't, you know, for me, I don't care about the thousand views. I don't care about any of that. It's just helping who needs to be helped learning and that's exactly what this is going to be all about is learning learning and spiritual growth of that nature um, let's see what the learning has to say this is definitely going to be learning with my book there it is You know, and I just noticed it to you guys. This is 25, and 2 plus 5 is 7, so this is so spiritual. I mean, I, like I said, I my spirit guide is out talking. So rare. So rare. You should, that's like almost like the rarest blessing ever. Like, she doesn't do that. That usually means so many different things. Um, she is out talking and talking up a storm. Um, as humans, we are potentially learning and growing Learning to handle emotions comes from the attentiveness. Managing stress, anxiety, anger is a learned skill. Understanding what sets off your distress and anger. And this is all about distress. Um, choose how you will respond to your triggers more effectively. Persist with the approach until it becomes an automatic response. You may feel you are resistant to learning the lesson at hand. The reasons for resistance may vary. We know why, right? However, the reading resonated with you. That's why. It may be stubbornness, habit, self-destructive pattern. We don't want those things because that's exactly what this is. Keeping yourself into a depressed state of mode can become self-destructive. It could cause drinking. Look at all the cups. You guys might start drinking or over-smoking or overeating. Um, the ice cream might disappear. Um, too much sleep because now you're, you know, or sleep deprived. Um, there's so many different ways people handle this type of stuff that is unhealthy. Um, so that's really bringing that out as well. Um, facing your fears and, you know, and admitting that, you know, you're causing over weakness um, by the, you know, by the overeating and all those things, right? Issues may build to a point where you need to address your reactions. So we're just going to need to take baby steps um, with this. And like I said, I will write a note to myself that I think we need to address this again. Um, not a situation I want to address by any means. I don't even really want this video. Um, but I know that when she comes out and she makes it known, it has to go up. Um, why? Because it's very... Um, 
I think this is probably the most depressing video I've ever made in my life. I mean, I literally um, was holding back crying um, to the point where now I'm sweating. Um, yeah, but this is real life events. So, great, now my dog's going to bark. So I'm going to end it there, guys, before she has, she has a cow over here, okay? Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.